Betwabu, Betwabu, beautiful people, Betwabu, top of the day, or house of the Father. Remember, Betwabu means house of the Father. And when we greet our people, we say Betwabu, recognizing and saying, acknowledging that you are the house of the Father. I am house of the Father. So, Betwabu, Betwabu, the Father lives in us. All right, Tiffany, Betwabu, Betwabu. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. So, today is Sunday. I hope you enjoyed your Sabbath rest. It is Sunday, January the 12th, 2020, day 43 of year two of reading through the books of instruction and the prophets. And today we're reading Numbers 10, 11, and 12. And we're going to catch them complaining today to Aaron. All right, Numbers chapter 10. And it's actually a pretty short reading today. We'll be done probably in about 10 minutes or so. And Yahuwah spake unto Master, saying, Make thee two trumpets of silver of whole of a whole piece shalt thou make them thou may you that that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps and when they shall blow them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and if they blow with and if they blow but with one trumpet then the princes, which are the heads of a, of the thousands of ye so lili, shall gather themselves unto thee. When ye blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. When ye blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey, and they shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the congregation is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. And the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout all your generations. That's something good to know. When you blow with an alarm, it's time to get moving. But when you blow without the alarm, it's time to gather. Gather the camps. You got something to say. Verse 9. And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppress you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall remember before you who are your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and, it, and in the beginnings of your months, ye shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before you who are. I am you who are your God. And it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from off the tabernacle of the testimony, and the children of Yisraeli took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. And they first took their journey according to the commandment of Yahuwah by the hand of Massa. In the first place went the standard of the camp of the children of Yaounde, or Judah, according to the armies, over his host was Nashon, the son of Amminadab, and over the host of the tribe of the child of the children of Yisulili was Nathaniel, the son of Zuar, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Zebulon was Eliab, the son of Helon, and the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set forward, bearing the tabernacle, and the standard of the camp Reuben set forward according to the armies, and over his host forward according to their armies, and over his host was Eliza, the son of Shader, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shalumiel, the son of Jerishaddai, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Elias, the son of Daul. And the Kohath, then the Kohathites set forward bearing the sanctuary, and the other did set up the tabernacle against they came. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Eli, Eli Shama, the son of Aminahu, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gam Gamaliel, the son of Padajur, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Aminadab, the son of Gideoni, and the standard of the camp of the children of Dan was set forward which was the re reward of all the camps throughout their hosts and over the hopes and over his host was Ahizer, the son of Amishadai, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pagiel, the son of Akram, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was 
I hire with a son of Enam. Thus were the journey. Thus were the journeyings of the children of Yisraelili according to the armies when they set forward. And Massa said unto Hobab, the son of Raguel, the Midianite, Massa's father-in-law, We are journeying unto the place which Yahuwah has said, I will give to you. Come thou with us, and we will do thee good. For Yahuwah has spoken good concerning Yisraelili. And he said unto him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and to my kindred. And he said, Leave us not, I pray thee, for as much as thou knowest how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and thou mayest be to us instead of eyes. And it shall be, if thou go with us, yea, it shall be, that what goodness Yahuwah sh shall do unto us, the same we will do unto thee. And they departed from the mount of Yahuwah three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah went before them in a three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. And a cloud of Yahuwah was upon them day by day when they went out of the camp. And it came to pass when the ark set forward that Master said, Rise up, Yahuwah, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Yahuwah, unto the many thousands of Yisraelim. Chapter 11 and when the people complained, it displeased Yahuwah, and Yahuwah heard it. And his anger was kindled, and the fire of Yahuwah burnt among them and consumed them that were in the utmost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Massa. And when Massa prayed unto Yahuwah, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place Taborah, because the fire of Yahuwah burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting, and the children of Yisraelili also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul, but now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all besides this man before our eyes. I'm sorry, besides this manna before our eyes. And the manna was a coriander seed, and the color thereof as the color of bedulum, bedellum, bedillium. Y'all get it. And the people went about and gathered it, ground it in mills, or beat it into mortar, and baked it in pans, and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was as the taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon the camp at night, the manna fell upon it. And then Massa heard the people weep throughout their families, every man in the door of his tent, and the anger of Yahuwah was kindled greatly. Massa also was displeased. And Massa said unto Yahuwah, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight, that thou mayest, that thou layest the burden of all this people upon me? Have I conceived all this people? Have I begotten them? That thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in thy bosom, as a nursing father beareth a suckling child, unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers. Whence should I have flesh to give unto all this people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. I am not able to bear all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. If thou deal thus with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of hand. If I have found if I have found favor in thy sight, and let me not see my wretch, wretchedness. And Yahuwah said unto Massa, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Yisulili, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people, and officers over them, and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with thee. And I will come down and talk with thee there, and I will take of the spirit which is upon thee, and I will put it upon them. And they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou bear it not alone by thyself. And, and say thou unto the people, Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow, and ye shall eat flesh. For ye, for ye have wept in the ears of you who are saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? For it is well with us in Egypt. Therefore you who will give you flesh, and ye shall eat. Ye shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days, but even a whole month until it come out of your nostrils, and it be loathsome unto you, because ye have despised which despised Yahuwah which is among you, and have wept before him, saying, Why came we forth out of Egypt? And Master said, The people among whom I am are six hundred thousand footmen, and thou hast said, I will give them flesh, that they may eat a whole month. 
shall the flocks and the herds be slain for them to suffice them? Or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered for them to suffice them? And Yahuwah said unto Massim, Is Yahuwah's hand waxed short, that thou see not whether my word shall come to pass in thee? That, I'm sorry, let me read that again, y'all. Sorry, I'm getting tired. I got these rubber bands on my mouth today, so I'm trying to pronounce the words right. Okay. Verse 23, and Yahuwah said unto Massa, is Yahuwah's hand waxed short? Thou shalt see whether my words shall come to pass unto thee or not. And Massa went out and told the people the words of Yahuwah and gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people and set them about the tabernacle. And Yahuwah came down in a cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the 70 elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. But there remained two of the men of the camp. The name of the one was Eldad, the name of the other was Medad, and the spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but went not out of the camp unto the tabernacle, and they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man and told Massa, and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Massa, one of his young men answered and said, My Lord, Moses, forbid them. And Massa said unto them, Envious thou for my sake, would Yahuwah that all Yahuwah's people were, pro were prophets, and that Yahuwah would put his spirit upon them. And don't that sound familiar, y'all? That just, that just caught my attention I'm from the New Testament. Okay. And Massa got him into the camp, and he and the elders of Israel. And there went forth a wind from Yahuwah, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp, as it were a day's journey on this side, and as it were a day's journey on the other side, round about the camp, and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. And the people stood up all that day, and all that night, and all the next day, and they gathered the quails. And he that gathered least gathered ten omers, and they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, before it was chewed, the wrath of Yahuwah was kindled against the people, and Yahuwah smote the people with a very great plague. And he called the name of that place Kibroth Hata, Hatava, because there they buried the people that lusted. And the people journeyed from Kib Kibroth Hatava, Unto Hezroth and abode in Hezroth. See, I would have been one of the ones. I'm fine. See, that's why I'm on a plant based diet now. So, I ain't, if, if something go down, the things get crazy, and people can't transport meat and stuff, yeah, I ain't worried about that. I already learned how to live off plant based stuff, fruits and veggies. I learned how to uh, recognize what's good to eat and what's not good to eat off the land. Not everything, but, you know, still learning. But I'm saying, I won't be one of the people that's lusting after me. I'll be like, yeah, y'all go ahead and take your feel. Mm -hmm. i seen this before. Mm -hmm. I'm not just sit back, eating my salad, just watching. I'm like, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. <laughs> he said, before the meat was between their teeth good, they couldn't even chew it good. He started wiping them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take that. All right, y'all, last chapter for the day, number chapter 12. And Miriam and Aaron spoke against Massa because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. And and they said, Hath Yahuwah indeed spoken only by Massa? Hath he not spoken also by us? And Yahuwah heard it. Now the man Massa was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And Yahuwah spake suddenly unto Massa, and unto Aaron, and unto Miriam, Come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And Yahuwah came down in the pillar of the cloud, and stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahuwah, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak to him in a dream. My servant Massa is not so, who is faithful in all my house. With him I will speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of Yahuwah shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Massa? And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow, 
And Aaron looked upon Miriam and beheld she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Massa, Alas, my lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Massa cried unto Yahuwah, saying, Heal her now, O Yahuwah, I beseech thee. And Yahuwah said unto Massa, If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that, let her be received in it again. And Miriam was shut out of the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward, the people removed from Hazaroth and pitched in the wilderness of Paran. Everybody should have paid attention to that. They said, what now? What happened to Miriam? You know how black folks are. What? What happened, girl? She did what? What did he do? Where's she at now? Oh, <laughs> you know how we do. So, but all right, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the reading for today. That was numbers 10, 11, and 12. Always complaining. You better get them, get them lips under control, them thoughts and them lips under control. All right, it is Sunday, January the 12th, 2020, day 43 of year two of reading through the books of instruction and the prophets, y'all. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, I might just go lay back down for a while. Everybody's still sleeping. I think I'm going to take this time and just go back to sleep. I rested well yesterday. Yeah, for the most part, the kids was kind of right. We went outside of wind. We soaked up some of that nice sun. It was like 70, like 75 degrees yesterday. You know, the sun was shining bright for a while until the clouds came and covered the rays. You know, Bella was out there playing in the dirt barefoot. I was out there helping to make mud pies. I wasn't first playing in the dirt. Then I figured we probably might need to get grounded. You know, kids, they come out doing those things that we should normally do until, you know, adults start, you know, um, I don't know, kids come out, they, they come out being free and doing what we were designed to do, you know, so I was like, man, it's been a long time since I played in some dirt, made some mud patch, you know, so I was out there, she's like, mom, help me, help me out, I was just sitting in a chair, you know, listening to a book, just soaking up the sun and the nice breeze and stuff, she didn't kick their shoes off and stuff, and, mom, come help me, come help me, I'm like, girl, I play no dirt. That's how it was at first. I was like, "Can't get your whole stuff together. Go out here and make a mud pie with this girl. I was like, all right, too. So I, t- I took my headphone out my ear, set it, and I was like, you know what? Let me just put this away. I'm just not listening to anything today. Just enjoy the quietness. And when I say quietness in my house, it's quietness plus my children's loudness. That's what my quietness is until they actually go to sleep. Oh, somebody. Hey, Tootie. Uh-oh, she's up again. <laughs> okay, I don't, well, I might get to lay back down. I was just telling about the mud pies we was making outside yesterday, little girl. All right, y'all, with that being said, may you who will bless us and keep us. May you who will make his face to shine upon us and lift his countenance upon us and be gracious unto us. And may he give us his shalom or his peace, his wholeness in every area of life. You know, I think it's raining today, but anytime the sun is out, every day, get out and soak up some of that sun, especially for melanated people. The sun actually activates that melanin. I mean, for anybody, but for us more so, especially people who may be experiencing depression. Um, when you get out there and get some of that good vitamin D and them sun rays, it actually activates the melanin and the serotonin in the brain, those feel good chemicals that flow through your body so get out there enjoy the weather even when it's cold on days because some days it's cold during the winter the sun is still out it's still worse it ain't take deep breaths if you can ground yourself feel the dirt walk through your grass you know i mean as long as your grass clean you ain't got no glass and then cut your feet up you know what i'm saying just enjoy it a little bit every day and you'll begin to see uh a difference in your life the you'll be calm you it'll uh, it um it uh I don't know you uh I ain't gonna say you have a new lease on life but you will just begin to look at life with fresh eyes and you know what things aren't so bad you know so with that being said beautiful people I love you and I see you in the morning peace finish button.